working on my body, I started to feel more than think, and that's when it all starts. It started as like a volcano, like you told me. A lot of things were happening inside me. I didn't know what it was. I started laughing and crying at the same time. I didn't know what was going on. I think a lot of my controlling part was trying to control what was happening, trying to understand what was going on. And I couldn't, so just everything was happening and it was a lot of feelings and、um, that I couldn't understand. And I started to feel a bit more confident. And when you turned over, I really felt quite blessed that I was here and quite grateful for your work because of. I think a lot of the tension has come out already, and I was already feeling quite grateful for everything you were doing to me. And、uh, thank you, by the way, again. <laughs> feeling like crying now because I feel、yes. that gratitude. And、um, you turned me over, and then you started working my tummy, which is a part that I always have tension. I have a lot of constipation, a lot of. I had gastritis. I had lots of issues with my my tummy. And again, my controlling part started to freak out. And I was getting sucked into that, and then you told me not to be scared, just that you were there, and it was very reassuring. And、uh, you gave me lots of your love and energy to help me feel better. And then I saw not images, but I felt all the war coming. I don't know if it was in past life. I'm pretty sure it was because I do have lots of problems watching war films, and I have a lot of. Problems reading the news or watching the news. So ever since I was 16 years old, I don't like to listen to the news because it's so much misery, pain and suffering, and being raped and being murdered in my gut. And it was such a horrible feeling. It was so intense and deep. And、it、you felt very me, real. It was extremely real.、I、felt like I was being raped and murdered at that point、mm-hmm. when you were doing that massage, and then. You press those points, and it was so intense, and I felt I was living at that moment, all that war. And、uh, you, you helped me release that, and saying that you know to feel the love, and you gave me your love, and、um, I started to feel that, and you told me to put the love in, try to heal it, and from that started to get lighter and lighter, gradually, and soon after that, I had just. I was finally able to go through that darkness to see the light, like you told me. It was more than mental too. When I put my heart on there,、yes. that turned it around, didn't it? Yes, yes, very much. So you gave me your energy and your love, and I could feel that, and I could feel that I was、mm. being、uh, being loved, and I was safe, and、um, and everything was okay.、Mm. And and that's when I think when I was able to let it go, and feel the the love and feel your energy and all, everything was released. I went past through that, and suddenly I felt so much joy. I felt like I told you during the massage.、Uh, I felt like、uh, I was. Just moments before dying, because you know how you hear everyone saying how peaceful it is just before you die, die. Because I was feeling like I was going to die at that point, because you know I was in a war, and I was. I felt like that point in time when I was dying, and I felt very peaceful, and it was the whole uni- universal energy and love embracing me, and.、Uh, And that's when I felt all the joy and all my body went. I think vibrating. I don't know if I, it was actually vibrating or not, but I felt all the、uh, vibration within my,、uh, within me. And that's I.、Uh, that's when I also is this joy because it was. It was so nice. I I couldn't. I couldn't believe how wonderful that feeling was. I was laughing and laughing like I never laughed before. It was a laugh from. Inside me, the spiritual laugh, I can say, because it's not,、uh, it's not a mind laugh. It's not, not like you listen to something that is funny. No, it was a laugh or a smile that came from beyond. I don't know, from beyond this physical world,、mm-hmm. I would say. And 
I stayed there and I couldn't believe how amazing that was and uh, how wonderful that felt. And I thought, well, I can't believe that people go through this life without feeling joy, like this is joy, this is amazing. And, and I never felt like that before. And after uh, when you were doing some other massages as well and um, you were touching uh, I told you that I had uh, some uh, pain on my liver, around my liver area, which is another area that I have lots of problems. And uh, you started working on that and you said, well, are you ready to go to the next phase? And then uh, you, you put your hand on my heart as well. And I could feel it coming. And I did, I think I had an orgasm or something that uh, I felt my my inner part from my, my vagina or something, the vibration coming from the vagina mm. up to my head and it came, I could feel coming on in waves like uh, going upwards and then... And that was in stages, it's just in one stages, bit. yes. Like, like yes. from one um, vortex to the next yes. vortex. So and it was like coming, yes, and I could feel it coming and it was so amazing because when I have orgasm with my partner, I have that, but it's so fleeting, it's so uh, concentrated in the perineal area. It doesn't go to the head, but I could feel it coming from uh, the vagina, uh, from the perineal mm. area to my abdominal area, to my stomach area, to my heart, to up to my head, and I could feel that coming, and it was amazing, and, and I felt a complete bliss. I cannot say any other words, a complete bliss and ecstasy and for I don't know how long, for a long time after that I could still feel the tingling and the uh, uh, vibrations and I could, like I told you, I felt like my whole body was complete, was filled with this mass of uh, or flow of energy that it was very still, very calm, but still I could feel uh, it's alive and it's very beautiful and uh, yeah, like, you know, when you see the ocean under the sunlight and everything sparkles and I, feel, I was feeling like I was sparkling inside me and yeah, it's I just felt amazing and it's absolutely wonderful, I really, mm -hmm. I can only thank you for that. Now, when you say you started to feel the vaginal orgasm moving up, I know I had my hand on the solar plexus area, oh, okay. didn't I, at that time? Yes. Yeah, there was no, no, no touch no there. No touching. And it was no. really... Yep, exactly. There's no vaginal touching, mm -hmm. nowhere near it. it. The power center set that off. Yes. So you came from your center into orgasm rather than the G-spot stimulation no. we tend to hear about. Yes, yeah, no, no, no. It was weird because, yes, I could feel it vibrating from down to up, but uh, the vibration, how can I say, I felt first in my abdomen and then I felt coming from below to upwards. So mm -hmm. it started actually in my abdomen you know, or stomach area and then I felt the tingling coming from my vaginal mm. area upwards. But Would it you say it dropped down into it when we were up here? Mm. Or I felt there? first here. Yes, you maybe did. I then, maybe I became aware later of yeah. the the vagi vaginal area. Exactly. Yes. Okay. But you only touched on my solar plexus, yeah. yes, on my it's stomach amazing. area. Yes, yes, it was amazing. Yes, and I'm still very relaxed and very happy. That's really wonderful that we speak about that type of orgasm. That's why it's a bit weird because I had to think, oh, I think I'm feeling something there because mm. you don't expect that happening. Mm. And that's why from, it started from here, but then I'm, I thought, well, wait a minute, I can feel something down there, and then mm. it came on waves upwards. So that's how I, how I know, but yes. It was a different type of orgasm, much more gentle, much more durable as well. It goes much beyond, mm -hmm. uh, and yes, and after that, I felt in a safe place.